Voters are headed to the polls in five states today. Texas and Minnesota are holding runoffs. Alabama, Arkansas, and Georgia are holding primaries. All of the races are setting up what could be a crucial midterm election this fall. And joining me now at the Elections Board is CBS News Director of Elections and Surveys, Anthony Salvanto. Anthony, always great to see you, especially here in studio with me. So much fun. So obviously, we don't know yet where things are going in Georgia, but what can you tell us about what you'll be watching there? Well, to set it up, Tanya, tonight is going to be really interesting, but let's face it, in a midterm year, during primaries, you and I are not necessarily having this conversation, and the eyes of the nation are not necessarily focused on some of these states. Why is that? Well, if you set the scene I want to show you this national poll that we just did, where we asked Republicans, what is it you want your nominees for these midterms to be talking about? And half of them said they want at least some focus on showing loyalty to Donald Trump. So much of these primaries is about the former president and about his influence on the Republican Party. He's endorsed some of these candidates, but also there's this point, 44% who wanted their nominees or would-be nominees discussing the 2020 election, these ideas of a rigged election, which has since been disproven, but they're still there in the minds of a lot of Republican yeah, that's voters. a significant chunk. I'm actually yeah. surprised by that number, to be honest with you, because they were saying that Republican voters wanted to look forward, not backward, and now it looks like a significant chunk of them is, are still focusing on uh, 2020. And that's the way a lot of these campaigns yeah. have been presenting the ideas. It's the subjects they've been talking about. And But to your point, and I'm glad you raised that, look at what Republicans want, voter, uh, want their nominees to also be talking about top answers. And it outweighs that number with talking about 2020, yeah. to your point about looking yeah. back, yeah. dealing with inflation. Right. So you're setting up this disconnect too. you're seeing these midterm primaries play out, including Georgia, which we'll talk about. We've got these Trump endorsed candidates. You've got a lot of discussion about 2020. But then you've got voters who are saying not just that. Tell me about how you deal with inflation. So this could outweigh the thoughts of 2020. In other words, if you've got a candidate to a Republican who seems very strong on these issues, that's going to be more important to them than focusing on 2020. Focusing on 2020 ladders out to a lot of larger ideas. Right. And that is this idea of vote fraud in the Republican Party. You see a lot of candidates talking about how they would go after it, even though, again, you know, in 2020, that, that idea was, was disproven. So, you know, you really want to understand why people are watching this. It's because, okay, what happens when we get to a general election? Are they still focused on that mm -hmm. idea? Does that go out to a wider audience, number one? And then number two, what are the implications for elections going forward? Did, go did you specifically poll on abortion? We did. Um, and we can talk about that. Because one of the things that you want to understand as these Republicans uh, go around, and Democrats too, okay? Democrats, by the way, also want to talk about, um, talk about inflation. Mm -hmm. They also want to talk about changing culture sure. in, in America. Sure. Um, but, I, you know, I'm looking for the slide here, but I can just tell you about it. Mm -hmm. The issue of abortion is really important on the Democratic side. We did poll on it. We see a majority of uh, Democrats, like a majority of Americans, want Roe v. Wade to stay in place. But also now, Democrats, it looks like it's a bit of a motivating factor. Right. It's a bit of a factor where you're going to say, well, they want their candidates to be talking about how they would protect abortion rights. And Republicans, it's not so much of a motivating factor one way or the other. It's less so. Right. There's fewer Republicans who want their candidates talking about how to oppose abortion then there are Democrats mm -hmm. who want to talk about protecting abortion rights. And really quickly, Anthony, because I could talk to you the entire show, uh, what are the other races we should be keeping an eye on? Um, we're going to look at a couple. We're going to look at Georgia. We're going to look at Alabama. But in particular, Georgia, we're going to look at the Georgia governor's race. This is this is the incumbent Kemp who's being challenged by one of those Trump, you know, mm -hmm. those Trump motivated Trump back candidates in Purdue, who, of course, lost the Senate race uh, back in 2020. And then we're going to look at Georgia secretary of state. Um, Stacey Abrams okay. is pulling ahead, likely to get the Democratic nomination in the governor's race as well. And then we're going to look at Texas later on um, for uh, for Bush against Paxton. Great. All right. We'll have a lot more coming from you okay. soon. Anthony yeah. Salvanto, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks.